welcome back to the channel this is a, a bonus episode you might be thinking that big chunky orange thing in front of you is not a narrowboat and you'd be right well as this is a bonus issue I'm going to tell you what this is in just a minute why the bonus episode well some YouTube channels get sent things to um, to review to try and review to let our viewers and subscribers know um, what we think of certain products today it's the crazy bird jumper step through e-bike it's a beautiful looking thing so if you stay tuned you're going to see us try this baby and we're going to try it over different terrains and we'll give you an honest review as to what we think about it so first of all what type of bike is it well i think the honest opinion is it's a bit of all sorts it's a really great bike it's a bit of all sorts with an electric motor it's part mountain bike it's part road bike so far just getting here it's brilliant so that is just power assist one incredible but you're going to see us ride it as i said over different terrains and we'll uh, we'll give you an honest opinion the bike has a really long range though, 62.5 miles. There are five pedal assist modes and also there's a walk mode which allows you to activate the motor on the bike um, so it'll assist you when you are walking with the bike. The quick release front tyre allows you to easily release that tyre for easy transportation. So this uh, bike is something you could put in the back of a vehicle uh, and take out for a ride if you like. Or you could put it in the back of a camper van and take it with you on your holidays. The bike has a 26 inch wheel with 4 inch fat tyres which gives great grip. The good thing about those tyres is we found was that the tyres were great over all terrains but also on roads because they weren't really heavily um, dimpled if you like then it was fine for road use also. The bike comes with hydraulic disc brakes the bike has Shimano 7 speed gears with easy shifting. We found the seat really comfortable. As you can see the pedal assist change buttons together with the front light and the horn are located on the left hand side of the handlebars. We both loved the extended palm grips on this bike. The easy to read display shows all the essential ride information such as speed, distance, the battery level and of course the 1 to 5 pedal assist settings. The bike comes with a convenient and powerful built-in headlight. The bike has a 52 volt 20 amp hour battery. The battery is fully integrated into the frame uh, with a 250 watt Bafang motor. It also has a USB charging facility as well as mains charging. The front suspension has a lockout facility on it as well for road use. In the UK the bike has a top speed of 15.5 miles an hour for on-road use. We found that the bike just sails up hills effortlessly, even in um, power assist 1 or 2. Whoa! <laughs> so what do you think? Wow! <laughs> Wow! I think it's absolutely incredible. I'm really impressed with it. Yeah, it's it's solid, it's responsive. Um, I love the chunky tyres, particularly on this surface because it's quite undulating. It's um, quite off-road. Um, I'm yeah, I'm a, I tend to be a bit nervous on this sort of surface, but I feel really safe with this. Great, the brakes are good. It's fantastic. I started off on Power Assist One and that was more than enough for me but it goes all the way up to five and it's just a flying machine uh, but as soon as you cut the power assist and you go back down the levels it responds immediately so you've no worries about it running away with you or anything like that um, yeah really good the suspension with this being a little bit off-road um, that's really that's really good when I came around that bottom corner um, I felt I felt the suspension was um, very active. You can lock it out, of course, as well. I, yeah, you can lock it out, um, but I wouldn't do it on this sort of surface. No, maybe on a road or something. Um, I think for me, um, being a, a woman, I think the step through is fantastic because it means you can quickly get on and off um, and you're not worrying about trying to get across a, over a crossbar. Um, 
yeah definitely I prefer I prefer the step through that works for me and to be honest I love the orange colour how do you think the bike could be on different road surfaces well when we to get here I brought it on the road um, and it was just a bike it was just perfect yeah the tires are not that um, chunky are they so they're just about an ideal mix of off-road and roads and I took it out of power assist mode when I was on the road and just had it as a normal bike and it's got seven seven gears really easy to move up and down the gears on the right hand handlebar the on the handlebars here you've got this um, this palm rest here which I actually found really really helpful because I've got sort of slightly dodgy th uh, thumbs and that that gave me lots and lots of support for my thumbs it means I could rest my hand there and operate the brakes really easily yeah it, the controls here you could see what speed you were doing um, and it moved up and down through the gears really really easily or oh, sorry it moved up and down through the power assists really really easily yeah I yeah I loved it absolutely loved it or I love it um, and I think I'm gonna hand over to you now <laughs> Good. Your I turn. look forward to that. <laughs> Super stuff. I can't wait to have a go. So when we came up the hill, which was quite steep towards the top, just in one, it was away. When I got up, higher up, I just clicked it into two and whoosh, it was away. Absolutely fantastic. And I only got to power assist one and two, so if you went up to five, goodness me, you'd be flying. Um, it's restricted, obviously, uh, for the UK on road use. Um, the only problem with it is um, it's raining and it doesn't have an umbrella. <laughs> so, so, nice people at Crazy Bird, um, if you do umbrellas as well, that'd be great. The bike is loaded with 60 millimeters of front suspension which takes the edge off all the rough terrain and it also slackens the head angle for a more stable ride um, when the trail gets a bit steep. The bike has an intuitive cadence sensor which amplifies your pedaling uh, delivering this natural responsive riding experience. Front and rear racks are available on the Crazy Bird's website as are front and rear mudguards or fenders. So that is just power assist one, incredible, really smooth takeoff. If you'd like to order one of the bikes, we've given you a unique uh, discount promo code which you'll find in the description below the video. The bike was really well boxed and well packaged, comes with really good instructions and there is an assembly video on the Crazy Bird website which made it really simple to do. It was really easy to assemble. It took us about 15 minutes from start to finish to assemble it. Uh, we're up and running within 15, 20 minutes. Perfect. I love it. Yeah, absolutely great bike this. Definitely recommend it. Side by side, our fears are done.